For over a quarter century, Mazda's been working to perfect the Roadster experience. The fourth generation Mazda MX-5 comes closer to that ideal than ever. The ideal of the driver becoming one with the car. The engineers have been tweaking and adjusting countless fine points. The body's proportions, for example, or the weight and center of gravity. Car tester Dean Malai has no doubt, even if it doesn't look like one, the MX-5 is a classic. Mazda introduced it in 1989 and has sold at least one million since then. That makes it the world's best-selling roadster. That in itself could easily qualify it as a legend, at least among MX fans. And Dean is thinking about becoming one. The new generation of the two-seater soft-top convertible appeared on the market last autumn. We tested the Mazda MX-5 with the smaller of the two gasoline engines, putting out 96 kilowatts, or 131 horsepower. It can make 100 kilometers per hour from zero in 8.3 seconds, with a maximum speed of 204 kilometers per hour. Dean thinks it sounds almost like he's test driving a revival of the Isetta microcar. The specs may not be jaw-dropping, but he's having lots of fun driving this little race about. That has to do with the curb weight of barely 1,000 kilos. Even with just 131 horsepower, the engine makes the driver feel that it's just the right one for the car. The new MX-5 has a lower center of gravity as well. That affects the driving dynamics of this purest little sports car. The six-speed manual transmission with its tight gearing adds to the sport car feel. Dean factors in the seat position. Sitting down low makes him feel as if the car had been welded right around his body. The tight steering harmonizes splendidly with the transversely mounted mid-engine, which delivers power to the rear axle in up to 7,000 RPMs. The suspension is just stiff enough to be sporty, and it's adjusted to give the rear axle the right amount of travel. Dean could drift all the way around the curves, but he doesn't. Na klar, hier voll durch die Kurven driften, mache ich natürlich nicht mal Führerschein im Bau noch. The MX-5's new design gives it a more emotional look, especially in front. The cockpit is set back a bit farther, but Mazda thought better of departing too much from the classical lines. Surfaces inside the doors painted with the body's outside colors give the car a down-to-business look. The interior design is reduced to essentials, but still comes across as elegantly sporty. The design concept is applied just as rigorously to the soft top, Dean observes. Nothing about it is electric. It's all manual. It can easily be put up or down without stopping, just as you might expect from such a puristic automobile. Even if it's child's play stowing the top or putting it back up, it may be a better idea to pull over for the procedure, in the interest of safety. Dispensing with expensive electronic gadgetry affects the price tag noticeably. The car we tested runs nearly 23,900 euros in Germany, an important factor in this success story. Dean thanks Mazda for keeping the MX-5 as a minimalist, puristic roadster, and unlike so many other cars, an affordable one as well. He also gives the makers credit for not taking a perfectly good car and developing it to death, like VW did with the Beetle and BMW did with the Mini. And he doesn't want to talk about what's become of his beloved Mustang, so he salutes the Mazda MX-5 as a modern classic with the stuff to become a legend.